What's up everyone, Dapper here. We're back playing some more Marble World. Today, we are attempting the one of every track piece challenge. As you can see, I've laid out all the track pieces I'll be using for this build. This is every track piece currently in the game. I mean, technically, it's every piece minus one. As you can see, this little flat U-turn here, there's technically two of them because there's a right and left U-turn for some reason. But anyway, I'll also still be using decorations and physics for this build as uh, we'll probably need some boosters to get through this uh, loop here and stuff like that. Also, I want to thank these commenters for giving me the idea. If you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments below. I love to hear all of them. Anyway, let's jump right in. Okay, so we are only allowed to use one of every piece. So this might be somewhat difficult to lay out at first. It's kind of like a puzzle. Like take this piece, for example. I don't know where we're going to put it. I'm probably going to need to put it over something like this funnel because if the marbles go all the way through, they need to be able to go somewhere. And if they go in the holes, they also need to be able to go somewhere. And we can only use, oops, I accidentally just swung more marbles. We can only use one straight track piece. So that's not quite going to help. So it might need to be like a straight track piece after this into a funnel. I'm not really sure how we're going to do it. But anyway, as always, or obviously, we need to start with a marble spawner. So I've got my marble spawner here, and I think I'm just going to copy paste pieces over from here just so I know that I'm using them all. I kind of wonder if I can just uh, copy paste them in somewhat order. No, probably not, because I do have a straight piece here. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. This is going to be interesting. That is for sure. So I think I need to start this off on an incline. I don't know if it is or not. I can't really tell, but I'm just going to do something like that. Perfect. And uh, what piece am I going to grab from here first? I have no idea. I mean, I suppose we could just start the simplest way. But like I said, I might need this piece for another spot. Who knows? But I'm going to turn my snapping back on and I'm going to snap this there. Perfect. Uh, what else am I going to use here? Uh, I think we could go straight to a loop. I mean, why not? So we'll go straight to a loop. I, I guess I need to split this in sections. Uh, I don't have too many merge pieces. I I guess, can I not, can I not snap this? Oh no, please. Okay, there we go. So that snapped, that's good. Uh, that's three pieces down of, I don't know how many, but we have a lot more to go. Uh, I might as well grab this. I mean, this is this is a problem in my mind, so maybe I should solve this problem early. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it over here. So yeah, I might need to split the tracks into like two sections. One where it's uh, wide like this, and another where it's a single track. Uh, I mean, that might make the second half of the race pretty uninteresting, but if I can get away with going from big track to small track to big track and then back to small track, I think that'd be a much better. Anyway, oh man, there's a lot of pieces here. Holy cow. Okay, uh, so I think I can paint the ones that I've used. So I'm gonna go ahead and do green, green, green. All right, so this is gonna help us keep track of what's been used and what hasn't. All right, so I have a merge track here. I think, see, we can only use one of each piece, so I don't know how this is going to work. This is an interesting challenge. Uh, like I said, I would much rather go back and forth between the two sizes, but I don't know if I can do that with what's available here. Actually, uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to merge it down to one. I might be able to use one of these funnels, maybe. I don't know. Let's get this piece on here, and I guess I can figure it out after that. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll grab this. Oh, I should just copy paste it. There we go. Bring it down here. All right, so all the marbles should be able to make it onto that comfortably. Uh, maybe, maybe I can double funnel it to go down to one. That way I don't have to use up my merge block just yet. So then we can do some track pieces that are one width. So let me get this over here. I don't, is this on an angle? I can't tell. I hope it's not. Anyway, get this underneath. I, it's not, I can't get it centered, but that's fine. That's fine. It'll be fine right where it's at. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and start painting the things that we use. We'll do green, green. Okay. I think that helps us get down to one, possibly. Let's take the straight one piece, bring it over. I might need to move this whole track up too. 
but we can worry about that a bit later. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. I guess I have to do it from above because I can't really tell. Wait, how did it get that way? All right, put this above or below, put it on an angle, and then I'm going to move it. Oh no, what's happening? All right, hopefully the marbles don't get jammed up there. Let's go ahead and test it. We're at this point. Let's see if it works. Uh, I don't know why I thought it was going to work because I have zero boosters there. So no problem. I am going to do a few boosters really quick. I love that the pieces automatically go the direction. Well, I got to flip it around anyway, but I love that they just kind of take the direction needed. What? What am I? What am I doing here? There. Okay, something like that. Wait, I can just... No, I can't rotate. It'd be nice if I could just rotate this the other way. Darn it. Wait, that works that way. Oh, it auto flips as soon as I get over here. What? Why? All right, well, it looks like I'm manually placing these. No problem. Just going to take a couple more. Move this about here. Get this situated. Wait, what does that do just to start off? Nope. <laughs> uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, almost, almost. What do we think? Does, will four do it? Possibly? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, close. Oh, so, I mean, it works. I mean, it really does work. I guess I just, I'm, I'm gonna do a couple more just to hopefully get all the marbles through there in one go. You know what? I guess that's close enough. <laughs> I don't I don't feel like doing the whole thing. Oh no, we lose some. Oh. Wait, oh, okay. These are coming from here. I was like, what the heck? Can I just close that? There we go. Okay, so I boosted most of the first section. We lose one marble, but... Oh, we didn't lose any that time. You know what? That's fine. We're rolling with it. Perfect. Okay, so let's see what happens over here now that I'm finally done with that. Oh, we definitely lose one marble. You know what? We might invisible wall it. We'll see. All right, so this doesn't exactly work as planned. So let me move this back. Try that again. Here come the marbles. Oh, oh, we actually lose a bunch there too. Huh. Yeah, I forgot. They come kind of flying through here. <laughs> uh, no. All right, you know what? We, we can use decorations. We'll fix that. No worries. We'll do some invisible walls. All right, so this works great. So we kind of made a, made a merger here. That's good. So then we can go through with my plan. All right. So time to get the paintbrush out. Boom. Track piece used. Uh, we might as well get some mergers out of the way here, or some these guys. So I'll copy paste this, bring it over. I suppose I don't need to copy paste these. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so here I'll use a splitter, and then I will use a merge. Alright, so that's two pieces out of the way. What else are we going to use here? So that's green, green. Coming along pretty nicely here. I guess I can use one of these guys next. I suppose this is as good of a time as any to get that one out of the way. So we can go to physics. I'll use this. I hope that works. I want to send the marbles down to find out. All right. So this is obviously needs to be boosted. <laughs> oh, no. All right. All right. We lose some marbles there, but that is fine. Uh, I can't actually paint this piece, so... Gonna have to keep in mind that I've already used that. All right, I suppose we can use the downwards and upwards now. So let's do downwards first. And this might be difficult, actually. I've never actually, unless it's not difficult. Did that just snap to where it needs to be? Because if so, that's perfect. And where is upwards? There it is. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work at all. Might need to use some decorations to keep that in. Oh, that actually does work. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Okay, so this is coming along pretty good. Uh, time to paint these, get them out of the way. How many one tracks do we have left? 
I might need to go back and modify this to use more, but uh, I'm going to get more of these single file line tracks out of the way. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do for these. I might have to just block the extra directions off. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Hmm. All right. Time to get some curved pieces out of the way. Use a straight piece. I don't know if that's lined up, so I'm going to send the marbles down to find out. Definitely is not. So I'm going to do that. Okay. That works pretty well. Uh, I am going to lower this down slightly so they have a little more speed coming into here. And it might be time to go back to a regular uh, sized track. So let's get the pieces out of the way that we've used. So I just use these two and one of these. Just gonna make sure they all make it through. I might need to boost it. Hopefully I don't have to. It's so weird how these bounce around in these tubes. <laughs> but they all pretty much make it. Again, yeah, I might have to boost it through here, but that's fine, that works. That works. Okay, so I think it's time to move this whole thing up a little bit. And I suppose I'm gonna get one of these elevators out of the way. Uh, actually, I'll save the elevators for later. <laughs> this is difficult. Look at all the pieces we have left. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, so we can go back to a regular size track. Uh, we can bring it to a the regular size track physics piece. That way we can group all the marbles up. And then at the very end, we can bring it back to a single file line. You know what? Let's let's actually get these uh, these elevators out of the way. So I'm not going to lie. Elevators are really cool, but they also take a really long time. So with a piece like this, I'm not technically cheating, but I definitely don't want to wait for a full elevator to go. So I'm gonna do something like that. Okay, as always, time to test. And then I'm probably gonna do the same thing for this elevator too. I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. I don't I don't like waiting for these things. They're too slow. Alright, I definitely think I need to angle this. Okay, look at that. And it's kind of cool that they kind of shift over. I might leave them uneven because that's not half bad. Oh, that one's actually going the opposite direction. But hey, it works. Uh, it does work, but I actually am going to turn it around just to make it go faster. Look at that. Okay, both elevators being used. I even might bring these down a little bit too. Okay, there we go. That works just fine. Boom, two elevators out of the way. All right, now I think I'm going to use a straight pipe piece here maybe. Oh yeah, these definitely got stuck a little bit. All right, so time to go to physics, decorations, and I'm gonna boost this area slightly. I think I need to boost the whole area because this is flat. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, I also think it's time to fix this because this is kind of a problem. So I'm gonna do that real quick as well. Okay, so I had to block off this whole area because the marbles were flying off pretty much on this entire side. So that looks like it keeps them all in, so that's good. All right, time to continue this. Let's paint our pieces though, so we know what else we have to work with. So here's that, that, and that. Oh man, we have so much left to do. All right, so I guess we will go to a pipe turn. All right, pipe turn to merge and un. Well, I might as well turn it. All right, hopefully all the marbles make it through these turns. Let's get all these turns out of the way. <laughs> Uh, what do we use? Not that one. We use this one. So I'm gonna paint this back to wood. And then we used these two. Okay. All right, so we'll go to split. We'll split it there. Then we'll merge it back up. Then we can do downwards. Actually, I'm just gonna change the angle of this right off the bat. We can do some downwards turns here. Oh, if that'll work, I don't even know. All right, all right, time to paint. We've done a lot of pieces here. So let's paint all the ones that we've used. So let's see, we've done downwards. I should test it just to make sure it works. So that's being sent down now. Um, I can't tell which one of these are downwards. 
I think these two are. Right, did I use that one already? No. Okay, I might need to boost this, but that should be all of our turns. Not really. I've got one left. This is that one that's kind of the same. I guess there's two of them that are the same. So there's a left and right U-turn for curved, and there's also a left and right U-turn for the bigger track. Anyway, I'm probably going to have to boost that because it's flat. Uh, I don't know if there's any getting around. Well, suppose I can just cheese a little bit and do something like that, even though they do get stuck. All right, so since these are the same, I'm only going to use one. I'm just going to mark both of these as green. Okay. Did I use the turn? I did use the turn. Okay, that's done. That's done. Oh, we got a lot of pieces out of the way here. That is done. Um, <laughs> okay, I got an idea. So we're going to go straight into this piece here. Then we're going to go to possibly the funnel. I don't know. Let's just kind of wing it. All right, we are getting closer and closer. What do we have to do here? I kind of forget. Oh, it's upwards. But I'm going to use this as downwards. Because uh, I don't like waiting for these. <laughs> so I'm going to use that like right here. Hopefully we don't lose any marbles. And I think I'm using it the wrong way. I can't even tell. So we'll drop those down like that. We'll do a physics piece here. All right, time to test this out. Hopefully this works. This is getting kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Where are all these marbles being lost? I guess right here. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to need some decorations here. Okay, so these are all taking the edge. So I'm going to move these over. Like here. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I can get this funnel out of the way. And then we can go into our merge piece. And it'll go back to a single file track. Oh, no. I for no, I didn't. Okay, I just forgot to paint this piece. All right, so that's good. 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 Oh, I can actually paint the stairs. Perfect. Perfect. What do we have? Le oh, no. I think I need to save the funnel. I'm going to save the funnel so I can use some other pieces here. I'm going to unpaint that. Now we're going back to a single file track. And we got quite a few pieces left for that. So I guess I'll get the downwards out of the way here. Do something like that. Yeah, I think these are flat. Those are flat. So, oh, I'm using curves. Darn it. So we'll do downwards. Just use all of these in order. All right. Now we can use these splitters here, but we're not actually going to use them as intended but we are using them that's not the side i wanted okay so place it on the other sides first that's fine might have to block the directions off or if we give it steep enough angle it might work and this is actually hard to keep track of so downwards the other way Okay, so we use both of these. I think we use that. We just use these. Those are the straight pieces. Wait, do we do... We didn't do 90s. Okay, probably gonna have to boost that area. Straight there. Then we can do an elevator. And I'm actually gonna use this one the right way. <laughs> even though we have to wait for it. Wait, so that's pretty much everything. Oh, Oh, we need, we need the curved pipe. Okay, then I still need these two massive elevators. I believe I use these two. So I'm just gonna boop. Okay, so that's basically every single track piece used except for three. We've got these two elevators and a uh, funnel. So I think I'm gonna end it here with the elevators to the funnel. So let's see upwards. All right, I'm not gonna use this whole elevator, but I will do something like that. I'll get it placed in the center here. And then I'll take the smaller elevator, do something like that. But I'm gonna take it off snapping and I'm gonna use a 
portion of that too. And that'll go straight to the downwards funnel. And we can do first marble through the funnel wins. All right, time to test. I gotta make sure most of this works. So I know I'm gonna have to fix this area. These do not need to be 20. That one can stay. Uh, time to do some decorations. We'll do shapes. I am gonna make these ones invisible. Uh, I do have to boost this area here. Cause they get kind of stuck. We are losing marbles over here. Uh, it's probably on this. Anyway, we're almost done. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty interesting track, to say the least. Oh, they get stuck there. All right, so invisible, invisible, and boosters. Oh, they get stuck here too? Darn it. All right, no problem, no problem. Oh, they're getting stuck because of this bad placement. Got it. Another test. Darn it, I'm still losing them here. Don't worry, we're just gonna we're just gonna block all of these things in. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Probably have to boost this area. Alright, so we're almost done. Just got a few cakes to work out. No big deal. They we're still getting stuck here. Why? Same reason as before. Wait, what's happening? What are you stuck on? Okay, we are almost done. It's almost race time. Uh, just as long as everything works. And so far, besides a couple things like this, everything is pretty much working. So we're getting there. Got a couple more decorations and stuff to fill in. Probably leave that one too. That one doesn't look too bad. So that's perfect. They need a couple marbles to get through, but it's not too bad. So I guess three get stuck behind there, which is fine. And then, okay, so I have to, oh, yes, yes, yes. I got to boost this. Definitely have to boost this. All right, I think I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to place them all, and then I'm just going to turn them. Yes, this already seems much more efficient. All right, we are in the home stretch. Just got to fix the last couple things, and then it is race time. And hopefully we will be able to see who goes through the funnel first. Uh, I probably should have saved the merge and straight single line piece for the ending, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay, once again, it is time to test. Make sure everything works, and if everything works, we will have a race. Okay, so I think I need to change this configuration here because uh, I guess I didn't think this through very well. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to delete that. Oop, I need snapping. All right, so that snaps. Now I can move these. And then I think I'm gonna put the stairs in between this entire section. There we go. Where are the stairs? I need upwards these guys okay all right there we go all right hopefully this will be the last test <laughs> hopefully i got everything worked out wait what all right ladies and gentlemen the track is finally complete i made a few changes as you can see there are a lot of invisible pieces to keep all the marbles in just to make sure they don't fall out I boosted a few areas just to make sure the marbles keep moving and uh, it works. Everything pretty much works. We might lose one marble here or there, but for the most part, uh, we are ready to have a race. As you can see, I have put green on every single piece here because we have used them all. We have used them all once. So we are about to start the race here. So let me get all the marbles spawned. Go ahead and pick your favorite color. Uh, we're gonna do a race real quick. We'll see who wins. And then I'm actually gonna restart it. And then we're gonna use uh, the follow cam so we can follow a marble through so you guys can see what it looks like uh, from the marbles perspective. Anyway, we're gonna start this race in three, two. Uh, hold on, do I wanna? 
Eh, we'll keep we'll keep it regular speed. I'll just try to keep up with the marbles as best I can. In three, two, one, the marbles are away. And uh, a few of them already made it through. We have lost a couple on the funnel, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, we have, uh, I don't know who in front because it really depends on when the marbles get here. So they're kind of spilling through the funnels now. And uh, they've just been released. It looks like Lava is in the lead. Can Lava keep this lead? I should have made these uh, pipes invisible. Oh well, Lava is still way out in front. Uh, but we are coming up to a physics piece where he may or may not have to wait. And how a blue marble got here already, I have no idea. I just... No, I spawned all the marbles together. I have no idea how that happened. But blue has been here for a little bit, it looks like. And uh, who is in the lead now? Okay, looks like we got Cyan. A few of the marbles did get pushed off. We are now waiting at the elevator here. Um, kind of upset that I opted to use a regular elevator. Oh well, we're just gonna have to wait for this to happen. Okay, Cyan and Yellow going through. Yellow chasing Cyan. Yellow does have a chance to get in front if it can get a good entry here, and it does not. And it looks like Cyan might be the winner unless another one sneaks through. Holy cow, that was close. I thought Lava Green was gonna do it, or Plasma Green. That was pretty cool, that was pretty insane. Um, <laughs> a little less competitive than I uh, wanted it to be at the end here, but I tried to make up for it with the ladder, and as you can see, one of the marbles actually almost snuck in front, which would have been crazy. Uh, I guess I can adjust this a little bit. It looks like they're having a little bit of trouble getting through here. Anyway, uh, I'm going to restart this, and I'm going to try to pick who I think will win. It probably won't happen. But we are going to do a follow cam just so we can get a better view of this track from the marble's perspective. And uh, I think I'm going to go with marble 247 here. Now I'm going to start this in 3, 2, 1. This is such a fun build, by the way. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, I'm glad you guys suggested this. Also, if you guys have any more suggestions, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'm definitely looking for more ideas, more things to do in this game. So anyway, we are now following the rainbow marble right now as we are going around this funnel. And uh, funnels take a while too. <laughs> for some reason, I don't uh, particularly like waiting for the marbles to do things like this. But uh, that's why I don't use them too often. But anyway, uh, hopefully we have a chance of winning here. Hopefully we really don't fall off the track. It seems like every marble I pick... Uh, almost falls off the track oh wow we skipped a few spots here and now we're going into this pipe which makes the marbles dance like crazy for some reason and uh we are making our way through now and hopefully we can catch up on one of the physics pieces i don't know how far the marbles are ahead um <laughs> we might not have a shot at first here like at all because there are quite a few marbles in front of us but uh yeah, it looks like they a few marbles actually already made it through, but at least we can see the track from this perspective. Oh, I thought we were going to fall off there. It's a good... And we hit a traffic jam. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we, we picked the wrong marble for this. We definitely picked the wrong marble. Well, anyway, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Uh, that lets me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!